Good afternoon. We are back with another Red Dot unboxing and review video. This time we are going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of two Red Dots that Feachi sent us. Um, the first one will be this one. This is the V30 1x22mm um, Red Dot. And the second one we have here is the RDS25, both by Feachi. So we'll take a look at the um, V30 first. So the V30 Red Dot comes in a really nice um, snap hard case of course really nice padding on the inside um, so in the kit that they send or the set they send you you have your red dot um, it looks like an optional riser mount for a picatinny rail two um, scope covers and then they do send you the battery two wrenches and some extra screws if you did want to go ahead and mount that riser um, and then it looks like they also sent a lens cloth. No instructions. So hopefully it's a pretty <laughs> user-friendly system. Um, so we'll take a look at this one first. Again, this is Feachi. You can find this right on Amazon. And this first red dot we have is the V30. Um, this is a one by 20 millimeter red dot. Um, so it looks like it's just a simple mounting system. Um, again, you can put that right on a Picatinny rail and then this does have the optional riser mount. Um, this is an aluminum red dot, so looks like we have the battery, which let's see if they sent one as well. It does come included with one battery as well as the one that's in the kit. Um, you have your two adjustments that you would utilize when you're going to um, sight in the red dot. And then it looks like here you have three soft keys, one is your power. So you have your power button here in the middle, and then you have a down key and an up key. I'm assuming that just changes your brightness level on the red dot, so let's take a look. So looks like just a single press of the power button does turn that red dot right on. And I know when I was reading about this online, I believe it said it had um, eight different brightness levels. So, yep. So in order to change the brightness of the actual red dot, it looks like all you have to do is just push the up or down key depending on which um, level you want it at. And this does have a memory feature, so whatever level you left it on when you power it off, um, it will remain in that level when you turn it back on. This specific red dot does have an automatic power off feature after an hour so if this you know you were out turkey hunting you turned it on when you're ready to go after an hour it will automatically turn off they do claim though that if you left it on and it turned off once the scope senses any movement it would automatically turn back on um the battery life it's just a typical like a your watch battery it has over 200 hours of battery life so i wouldn't be worried about turning it on and off while hunting due to the battery life but i definitely think that's a nice feature that, you know, if you did leave it on and it happened to cycle off, it would automatically turn back on once it sensed any motion. So that's a really nice feature that I actually have not yet seen any red dot um, incorporate that I've done a review on. Um, on the one end, I did notice they have it come equipped with an anti-scratch lens here. One thing I like about this red dot too is your controls are on the actual left-hand side of the um, red dot scope. So you, it's kind of hard to see because it's all black, but so once this is, you know, resting on your shotgun, it'd be on the left hand side, which would be the opposite side of your trigger hand. If you're right handed, it'd be a little more convenient if it were on the right side for a right handed shooter, but nonetheless, super easy to use. Just a simple power on, power off, and then up down feature. It just has this single dot reticle, and then you can go through and cycle through the different brightness levels. So super easy to use, like I said, they also did send um, two optional lens caps if you wanted to go ahead and put those on. I'll just show you here. They just pop on real simple. And there we go. And they snap on. Those flip up and down super, super, super easy. They're not even wiggling on there, so that's really nice. Same thing over here. That pops right on there, no problem. Flip up, flip down. Super simple. So again, this is the Feachi V31 by 20 millimeter scope, or excuse me, red dot. 
Um, it retails on Amazon right now for $69.99. It's on sale. I think it was originally $91, but they are running a sale on this right now. You don't need any special code to get that discount. Um, just go ahead and hit up Amazon for that scope. So without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the RDS 25 red dot. So it's the same company, both Fayachi, like I said. So let's see here. So we have our red dot. It's a little bulkier of a design than the V30 model. I'll show a side-by-side -side comparison here in just a minute. So in the um, in the bundle with the red dot, of course you get the red dot, uh, another optional riser mount if you wanted to use that with the Picatinny rail system, lens, cover, or lens cloth, user instructions, and this one has um, just the rubber removable lens cap covers if you wanted to pop those on on a rainy morning to keep everything from fogging up. Um, both of the Fayachi red dots, though, they do claim that they have the anti-fog and anti-scratch lenses. So we're not going to put that to the test just because I don't want to ruin a red dot in case it did scratch the lens. Um, yeah, so that lens cover goes on super simple. Okay, so let's check out. Okay, so this battery is installed as it comes. Um, so with this one, it's a little bit different. Um, Rather than a push button on or off, this just has a turn style button here. You can cycle through the 11 brightness levels um, and you can go either way with them. So you could start really, really bright on a sunny morning or if you were hunting you know, at nighttime, you could start automatically at one. You don't have to cycle all the way through 11 um, beginning at one. So to turn it on or off, um, right now I have it in the off position. So I have it on zero, which show you here so on the red dot itself you see a white dot there it's real small and then it lines up with whatever brightness you're on so of course zero would be off and then i'm just going to simply turn it to 11 that gives us the brightest light um and it's a single dot reticle so let's see here yep and it's quickly cycling down on a bright day like today it's super sunny even on an eight it's you can still see it. Seven, you're good. They said like typically um, five through 11 is good and optimal for sunny, more bright sunny days. And then four through one is more optimal for nighttime. And I can tell you right now I'm on the fourth brightness level and I cannot even see the radical. Five, it's very faint. So I definitely agree four and below, you definitely wouldn't want to use um, on a sunny day at all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off. This specific red dot does not have an automatic cycle off feature. So once it's on, it's on, but if it's off, obviously it's off. One thing I will say, um, it's kind of hard to turn. That's one thing I don't like about it. But I do like that the control is on the right hand side just because once this is mounted on a shotgun, like I said earlier, I'm right handed. So this would be perfect and convenient right here um, if my hand was on you know, resting on my gun. Um, of course, you have the two um, areas here. They just spin off. They have nice covers on them that just spin on and off when you're ready to sight the red dot in. Same thing with the V30 model. Um, and they sent you this small little wrench there to adjust those. So they'll just quickly spin back on just like that. So unlike the other red dot, the V30, this RDS25, you can see here the reflection on that um, opposing end is quite bright and reflective, depending on what angle you're looking at it. And it does not have an optional cover to cover up that reflective end. So I'd be a little apprehensive, quite honestly, to use this turkey hunting just because, you know, the slightest movement might catch that. I don't know though, it kind of disappears as you take it away. Like I know right now on the camera, it's, you only catch it at certain angles, but. Um, so this red dot retails right now on Amazon for $35.99. They're running a $5 sale. 
Again, you don't need any specific code, but if you were interested, you could just check it out on Amazon. And if you have Prime, you can get it within two days. Um, so both of these, again, are the Feachi Red Dot Scopes. And um, the first one we did is the V30, 1x20. The second one is the RDS25. Um, let's see, side, side by side, the V30 is quite a bit longer. Even, let me take these uh, rings off quick just to show you. So they're very similar in size, both aluminum. Um, the V30 is just a tick longer than the RDS25, not by much though. Um, resting here, let's see. It looks like the V30 does sit a little bit higher than the RDS25, not by much, but it is a little bit of a noticeable difference but they both do have the optional riser mounts included in the kit if you wanted to bring that up at all. But they're, they're nice red dots. They feel durable. They're both scratch proof, waterproof, batteries included, and really easy to use. So it kind of just goes based on preference, I'd say, if you wanted the soft put, excuse me, soft push button feature or if you just wanted a standard um, turn knob. But yeah, overall, I think these are really nice red dots, and they're both on sale, so check them out. Thanks for watching.